Mine's uh, making plays on the ball, on balls in the air. That was a big thing that we, we missed a lot of opportunities in big games last year where it was balls in the air and we didn't make plays on them. And the big improvement on that was in the spring, making plays on the balls in the air. And just the harnessing out in front of them, basically tackling. Overall, what would you say is the, the greatest strength? You know, it's, it's only July, but what would you say right now is this team's greatest strength? Well, on the defensive side of the ball, I would say our front seven. I'm just saying that because uh, a lot of us came back last year. We got four senior linebackers. So, uh, and we all, there's a lot of guys that played a lot of football. We got like a lot of seniors on defense. So, on the defensive side of the ball, I would say uh, our front seven is the most experienced. Offensive side of the ball, uh, I think probably our quarterback, Brandon Silvers. Being, uh, he's been going into a third year starting in the Sun Belt. That's a big thing. Uh, he's probably, uh, Probably one of the most experienced quarterbacks, not if not even the nation. I know in our country, so uh, he's in, he's stepped up as a leader during the spring, and more consistent on the offensive end. So, coach looks for him to be the leader on offense, and he looks for me to be the leader on defense. So I think we got better at uh, being our leadership roles. Most definitely would be Clemson, yeah. Of course it would be Clemson. Yeah, just the big environment. Going to Death Valley, I heard is uh, one of the best venues to play in in um, all of college football. They're going against a great team that played in the National Championship. So I'm really looking forward to that game right there. Does the, I mean, I know word kind of travels. Anthony Jennings coming to UL, former SEC quarterback. Are you, do you guys think about that at all? Think about your opponents in that sense, or is it just kind of still preseason talk? Uh, it's still like preseason talk, but uh, that's a good add addition for them because uh, Brandon Jenkins was a good quarterback. Um, we're just taking one game at a time. Uh, when it's time for prayer, well, we don't play UAL this year, so I don't think we got to worry about it. Yeah. It wouldn't matter to me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we just take it one game at a time. We don't try to get ahead of each other. I didn't know that, though. Huh? I didn't even know that. You didn't know Anthony Jennings, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. true. It's, it's our biggest talking point this uh, year. Oh, okay. They scooped him up from LSU. And uh, he graduated, so he's playing this year. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> Buying into the process. Uh, Coach Vicks always preaches us about doing everybody doing your job. Don't try to do more than your job. Try to do somebody else's job. And I think it took a while to buy into that process. The first two games we got all the rest stopped, but when everybody started buying in, and everything started really coming together. And it was, it was a great thing. How special is it to have uh, really Dimitri with you at Troy? And how does it help ease the transition? Uh, I, I always say when anybody asks me, it's a blessing to have to play with the guys for four years. Um, actually, I played against William my first two, uh, my last two years of high school. Then I played against uh, Demetrius in uh, <clears throat> in uh, All Star game. So then, then we uh, we were actually was on the same recruiting visit to East Mississippi. We decided to play together. Then when the opportunity came up to, uh, for us to all play again at Troy University. 
we just took it and ran with it and it made the transition very easy. Uh, the leader, I, probably being the leader of the defense, uh, leadership role, that's probably my, my main role that I'm focused on this year is defense. Do you guys feel that the defense can be even better this year and why you guys feel that the defense I think because we improved so much as a defense uh, from our last game, and uh, I really think we're going to be even better as a defense because uh, we had a, some couple of key guys with uh, Chris Brotherspoon transferring from um, uh, Hines Junior College and the addition of Cameron Melton from Auburn transferring from a corner. So that them two main additions then uh, us we growing up as a defense more and more. And our second year under Coach Vic, I think it's going to be a good thing. So as a senior, my individual goal is to get to a bowl game, and probably team goes the same thing, get to a bowl game. I'm a been a winner all my life, you know. I won two national championships in my first year at JUCO. Last year was a, but I'm an ultimate competitor, so getting to a bowl game probably be my ultimate goal. Thank you. Front seven is really uh, probably the strength of our defense right now. Uh, we got some young guys, some new guys in the secondary, but I'm excited about them uh, with Cameron Melton, uh, Army transfer, and Chris Brisbane Juco transfer. Uh, we got four senior linebackers, so that's a lot of guys that played a lot of football. Uh, we got Rashad Dillard, uh, preseason first team All American. I mean, I'm now Sun Belt, and I think uh, he got a real chance, good chance to be probably one of the best pass rushers in our league. So uh, we got some really good guys and some good situation on defense. How good is it to finally be able to say that this Troy defense is getting back to the way it was in the mid to uh, early 2000s? I feel like it's great because, like, the last past year, Troy has been seen, like, uh, been shootout games and stuff like that. And um, when we said, when we when Coach Brown came in, Coach Vick came in, he said that was long gone. Uh, the process, but it's still a long, ongoing process. Though we still, but I, we got better as the season got went along. But uh, we really still ready to make that next step. Try to be one of the top twenty defenses in the nation. Uh, Troy was the pinnacle of Sun Belt teams when they started to <coughs> right around 2010. What's it going to take for this team to get back to that? Because it's, it's been a few years since I've been. It's been a few years since the season. What's it going to take? I just said we just still taking it one week at a time because uh, last year uh, we lost four games, less than six points on our conference, and uh, this is about finishing games. Though we we get so so close and so close, then we not finishing the games, and that's just all about going up as a team, we finishing the games, being under a new kid, a new head coach for the first year, now going into the second year. We, uh, we, we had a great group of uh, seniors that laid the foundation for us, but now for the upcoming seniors to build up on, it, it's time to open uh, It's just a process. Uh, I think, but I think we really take that next step and get to back to the uh, back to uh, Troy winning uh, consecutive Sun Belt championships. It's a uh, it's pretty difficult non-conference schedule for you guys this year. Open up Austin P at home, followed by Clemson on the road, then right after that, at Southern Miss. How difficult of a stretch are going to be those first three games to start this season? Uh, it's going to be a very difficult stretch. Uh, Austin P is a great FCS team. 
Obviously, Clemson is probably the best overall team in the nation besides Alabama. Southern Miss went to well, had won 10 games last year, went to a bowl game. So they all great. They were all great teams. So we're gonna have to play our best game. But I, it's still like uh, Silver said, it's still 11 on 11. All we gotta do is just make the routine plays, and we should be fine. This is a year for the over on the offensive side of the ball, how do you expect things to go today? Led by Brandon Silvers. Yeah, that's the main key with Brandon Silvers. Um, I think him being a third year starter in the uh, Sun Belt is a big thing, big uh, a big boost for our offense. Uh, we got some young guys and some receivers. Uh, probably uh, Manuel Thompson is probably looking for a big year out of him. For him, John Johnson, and we got a lot of young guys that are going to step up on offense. With the uh, offensive line, we got uh, Antonio Garcia. Uh, probably, I think he's probably one of the best left tackles in the conference. He's a very uh, good guy, and he's stepped up and leading the offensive line. We could probably have some red shirt guy, young guys, uh, actually true freshmen, uh, to step up on the offensive line this year. So, but I think the biggest question probably is the offensive line. But uh, they them guys have been working hard all summer. They've been pushing each other. As Tony, led by Tony, he's been pushing them guys to get there. And I think we're going to be a uh, real good offense this year. What are you hoping from yourself this upcoming season? Uh, I just hope uh, to, to lead the defense, you know what I'm saying? Uh, be like the quarterback of the defense, communication. That's my big thing, uh, Some big, one of my big core strengths. As a uh, player, a football player, is my communication with defenses and offensive recognition. And trying to give and making sure everybody's in the right spot so they can be successful and make plays. What's it like being part of the linebacking core and the two of those positions as a bunch of seniors? Yeah, I think it's uh it's a great it's a great thing because with four guys that are seniors, that means they play a lot of football and they got a lot of experience. And it's not too many situations that they will get routed in because we probably didn't play a lot of football. So by any of those situations, we wouldn't be in. So. But what does it mean for the future? Who are some of those guys you can see maybe? Uh, make some strides this summer and going into the fall to you know, be the next guys up once y'all graduate. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Tron, Tron Fossil uh, is uh, going to be coming off a red shirt freshman year. Um, he's going to be a good Tulsa team guy. He's a long, athletic. He lost a lot of weight and he built it. And he's building back muscle. He's going to be a great uh, at the wheel backer. Then we got a uh, red shirt freshman, Douglas Salter. Salter. And uh, Walter Pritchard, they were a couple of young guys at Mike Linebacker who are going to step up and they're going to be uh, real good guys. So they, them two guys are going to be young next year. So uh, they're on course to probably uh, be like three year starters in the Sun Belt. As a senior, though, and such a senior group, how much effort do y'all take into the bringing those guys up to kind of leave a legacy? Oh, always. Uh, we always, I always invite the guys over my house. We go cook out anything, just show them that I care about them, respect them and stuff. And I always, we always watch extra film after uh, workouts or practice. I try to show them the, uh, the way. It's just basically as I did was a freshman, like senior uh, older linebackers did to me. Uh, they showed me the way, showed me how to go about my business, and that's what I'm trying to uh, go with. Uh, do, teach them, show how to go about their business and being a college football player. Now you gotta look at the non-conference games. They have some importance sometimes. Uh, you know, the grand scheme is about the conference games. But Clemson and Deshaun Watson, <laughs> what's that gonna be like? I think it's gonna be a great experience. Uh, Deshaun Watson probably is the best quarterback in college football. Probably beating number one pick next year. I think so. He's a great kid too. You know, what I'm saying it's a great guy. And playing Clemson, uh, they're very good, very good. Well.